I am so delighted that you're here. I usually see 150 schools a year and you're a new school. I have the signature of Moses Austin and Stephen F. Austin and Jane Long. I have the signature of David Crockett. I love collecting Texas and really unusual Texas documents are housed in our collection. He is the dictator that ruled Mexico for 51 years. They say if you don't ever know what happened before you were born, you'll forever remain a child. First, Sam Houston would sign his name the way we would if we were named Sam. So in a way, Nina Hindi is making sure kids from all over Houston grow up. Sam was so proud of this town. He changed the way he signed his name. On mornings like this one, you'll find her knee deep in fourth graders learning fascinating facts about Texas history, her way of giving back. The first flag flew the longest and it was the flag of Spain. You know, you have to give back and we've been blessed by 40 years of business. And so we've had 400,000 fourth graders in 32 years. Stephen F. Austin goes home and he starts running ads in the newspaper to settle Texas. Tell me where your love of Texas history began. Oh gosh, um, in Dallas. I grew up in Dallas and my fourth grade teacher at Victor Hexter Elementary School was named Suzanne Gilson. And Mrs. Gilson was passionate about our state and she required her fourth graders to be passionate as well. So we wrote a, a Texas history book report every week of the school year. And by the end of the school year, I was in love with Texas. Complete with replicas and wardrobe changes, Nina's classes cover many of the moments and people that made this state what it is today. It's an exact replica of the Come and take it, Cannon. But it's not the documents and signatures that most kids talk about. It's lining up one by one and heading to the back to take a tour of the largest independent restaurant in Texas. It kind of is a museum or a restaurant with a museum. How does it's that actually work? It's definitely a restaurant with a museum. And we take them in the back and they go in the freezer and it's their favorite part. They can see uh, Sam Houston's signature, and it's remarkable, but when they write the thank you notes, they write, I love your freezer, <laughs> which I love. So what cute. is it about the freezer? It's cold. <laughs> I can make your friend scream just by turning off the light. Listen. And I just happen to flip the light off when they're in the freezer and it gets dark and they scream and then they come out laughing. So you happen to I just flip. happen to. They love it. It's so cute. <laughs> That's so much fun. Oh my God. Oh my God. Nina's mornings may be busy with a kitchen full of screaming kids, but by 11 a.m. sharp, she switches gears from teacher to the owner of one of Houston's most popular restaurants, The Taste of Texas. We are an excellent steakhouse, and we don't try to be anything else. We have a butcher shop, and you can leave your table and go into the butcher shop and pick your own steak. That one right back there. And about seven years ago, we put a tomahawk <laughs> on the menu just for the week. It's still on the menu seven years later. We bake all of our bread in-house, even our croutons. We're known for our steaks and our salad bar and our bread. <laughs> I know you wanted to do the chocolate cake. It is seven inches tall. Serving roughly 7,000 people a week, the Taste of Texas is a bona fide success. How are you all doing today? And one Nina is quite proud of. But for her, that's not what's most important. It's leaving a positive mark on her community. We give $61,000 scholarships to our staff every year and six fully paid tuition and book scholarships. This is so much more than a restaurant. 
the heart of Texas is the dinner table. So we're, we're so blessed to be a part of our community and to host their family celebrations and their graduations, their business retirement. Uh, it's just, it's an honor and a responsibility that we take very seriously. It's not about a bottom line. It's about what you're doing in your world. My father was um, an older dad and his phrase for my, our family was, you cannot just take up space. You can't ever just take up space. You better be giving back. How are you? Very nice to be on. Wow, look at that. Glance at the taste of Texas, and you might only see a steakhouse. But take a closer look at the walls chronicling our past, or the dedication to community, and you'll leave here with not just a full belly, but with a full heart and mind too. And Nina Hendy says, as long as she's making that happen, then the rest is history. How do you want to be remembered once Ooh. you leave this place? I would love to be remembered as someone that had a passion for life. What? The Borden Milkman? Make a difference in someone's world, in a lost and dying world, in a hurting world. Comfort others. So I, I want to be known that way. It's living full out. It still all goes back to the Texas history. It does. Every time. Mrs. Gilson. But I would love to thank her for her legacy of not just taking up space, of teaching me to love this place that we call Texas.